Hello, PLP Jamish. We welcome to your video 10B. We're going to do a couple examples involving solving equations and these parallel lines and transversal problems. So it says, given that uh, line M is parallel to line N, find the value of X. So again, in this picture, I know that M is parallel to N. T is my transversal. So what I need to do is I need to identify what type of angle pair are these two angles. Well, they are interior angles so they're interior and one is on the left and one's on the right of the transversal so I believe that these are alternate interior angles and if my lines are parallel that means that these guys are going to be congruent which in terms of an equation means they're going to be equal to each other so if I take 7x minus 20 I'm gonna put the bigger x first just because I like the bigger x on the left, 7x minus 20. This will be equal to 4x minus 8. Okay, so now let's go back in time and remind ourselves how we solve this. So some of you might benefit from drawing your line down the equal sign. First step is, if there's parentheses, distribute. I see no parentheses. Second step is, combine like terms on the left or combine like terms on the right. 7x and 20, don't combine. 4x and 8 don't combine, right? Variable term constant. So now the third step is we're going to start moving things across the equal sign. So I'm going to combine my x's first by moving the 4x over there. This is a positive 4x, so I'm going to subtract 4x. Notice I put the x with it because in order to combine with the 7x, it has to have an x. So this would be 3x minus 20 equals... The 4x is cancel, negative 8. Don't drop the negative. And now I'm going to add 20 to both sides. So typically next is an addition or subtraction. I'm trying to get x by itself. We're going to add 20 to both sides. 3x comes down. The 20s cancel equals negative 8 and 20 is 12. And now we'll divide by 3 on both sides. The 3s cancel because when a number next to a variable is, uh, is there, it means multiplication. So divide by 3 and we get x is 4. So again, it said find the value of x, and I just did. All right? Let me show you one more example before I let you guys go. Okay, so here's my second example for us. So now it says, again, m is parallel to n. Find the value of x. So again, in this picture, I know that m and n are parallel. So my angle pair relationships all hold true. So next thing, identify what angle pair these are. So right now... I see them both in the interior, and they're both on the left of the transversal, which means they're on the same side of the transversal. These are same side interior angles. And if lines are parallel, same side interior angles are supplementary, which means these two guys are going to add to 180. So I'm going to create an equation adding those two angles and setting it equal to 180. So I'll start with the 10x plus 1 plus 5x plus 29 equals 180. If you want to put parentheses around them like they have in air, that is fine. But the parentheses do not matter because you're just adding. There's no distribution, right? Nothing in front. So these parentheses do not matter. So now I'm going to draw my line down the equal sign. Let's change color to to you know whatever and now on the again the parentheses don't matter so we're not going to distribute I'll cross these off with the red now so now combine like terms the left side is busy you have two x terms you have a 10x and a 5x we're going to add those together to get a 15x you have a 1 that's a 1 there's no no parentheses and a 29 1 plus 29 is 30 and that's 180 so again uh, do what the signs say Positive 1, positive 29, positive 30. And now, uh, two-stepper. I only see one x here, so leave that x there. Let's move the 30 by subtracting it. So if I subtract 30 on both sides, the 15x comes down. The 30s cancel. 180 minus 30 is 150. And now this 15x means multiplication. I'm going to divide by 15. And that means x equals, and 150 divided by 15 is 10. And I have found the value of x. So that was just a quick review of how to solve uh, 
linear equations. All right, best of luck.